I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Peyton Domchi with a traffic update on this August 17th, 2021. It is a Tuesday here and we're still talking about three areas in the tropics. Well, if you want to consider all three areas in the tropics, one of them is across the United States right now, bringing heavy rainfall to parts of the deep south as well as continuing its way into the mid Atlantic. Tropical Depression Fred is the one I was just talking about, but we also have to highlight Tropical Storm Grace as well as Tropical Storm Henri. I know it looks like Henry, but the National Hurricane Center has the pronunciation for Henry, as you might think it is pronounced, is Henri. So we're going to continue to talk about just the fact that hurricane season is just getting underway today. Once again, August 17th, the peak of the season, September 10th, and then we have still a bulk of time to go until the season really starts to die on down. The season goes all the way until the end of November. So we're just starting to see some of that activity start to flare on up across the Atlantic Basin. As I mentioned, three areas we're keeping our eye on. Tropical Depression Fred across parts of the U.S. right now. Tropical Storm Grace a little bit closer to Jamaica. And then Tropical Storm Henri very close to Bermuda. We'll break down all of those tracks from the National Hurricane Center and their latest advisories here in just a second. But the next name on the list is actually Ida after Henri. And you might notice here that we only have one hurricane label that was Elsa several storms ago, but we could have one of these storms that I'm about to talk about become the second hurricane of this 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. I'll let you know which one in just a second here, but let's talk about Fred first and foremost because it could draw potential impacts to parts of the mid Atlantic. So you're probably wondering Hampton Roads, at least our immediate viewing area here. So some of you folks probably watching right now from Hampton Roads, and you might be wondering Peyton, how much rain could we see from the remnants of the storm as it did make landfall yesterday afternoon to parts of the panhandle of Florida, not too far from Panama City. Right now it's considered a tropical depression. It made landfall as a tropical storm. It's working its way through the deep south as we speak will become a remnant low later on tonight, very early tomorrow morning. And then as we go through Wednesday, it's already going to be all the way up a little bit farther to the north and east by later in the afternoon tomorrow. So this is a quick mover. Obviously tropical storms start to break on down as soon as they make landfall, but it is bringing with it a whole lot of rain. So this is the loop of the past 12 hours of tropical depression Fred. It was a tropical storm once again when it made landfall, but a lot of rain is falling across parts of the deep south and will make its way through parts of the mid-Atlantic. Now the big story here is that with some of these tropical storms and as they kind of deteriorate over land, they have a lot of that spin action with them and can actually toss up a few tornadoes here. So this big pink polygon you can see that stretches from parts of Georgia into South Carolina, far western zones of North Carolina. Those are tornado watch boxes in place for a greater portion of today because of the potential with some of that just general spin in the atmosphere that they could see some lingering tornadoes take place because of the spin action that is moving its way a little bit farther to the north and east. Now beyond just the chance for severe weather, that heavy rainfall potential is definitely there and the excessive rainfall outlook for at least today highlighted most of the deep south and parts of the mid Atlantic kind of stretching right into Tennessee as well as parts of North Carolina. Those far western zones, as I mentioned, were kind of the bullseye for today with seeing most of that heavy rainfall. Now, as it works its way up, it's actually going to come in contact with a frontal system that we've seen bring us rainfall the past several days here in Norfolk, Virginia. Now, something else to talk about as we go through the day tomorrow that changes. It shifts a little bit farther to the north and east, so the chances for rainfall increase ever so slightly for us here in Hampton Roads, but kind of bring that chance a little bit farther to the north and east, stretching all the way through New York, even coming a little bit closer to Boston. Now, how much rainfall could we see here locally. Well, we could see a, potentially a few tenths of an inch of rainfall. This is one model's output just through Friday very early in the morning. So that's why I wanted to just zoom you through there. That's because that would be associated with the current remnants of tropical storm Fred, which is currently a tropical depression. But I also want to show you that most of that heavy rainfall kind of follows suit with the Appalachian spine here. So most of the rainfall, at least closer to us, that could be the heaviest is going to be the far western zones of not only Virginia, also North Carolina, and a little bit closer to West Virginia in general. 
and then as you go a little bit farther to the north and east. So for us, we're not looking at a whole lot of rainfall even from Fred, even though that it is driving up that moisture content. You're definitely going to notice it just in terms of the humidity levels here across Hampton Roads. Now switching it over to Tropical Storm Grace, the latest advisory from 11 a.m. dropped from the National Hurricane Center, put it about 75 miles east of Montego Bay, Jamaica, has sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. To be a tropical storm, you need to hit that base threshold of 39 mile hour per hour sustained winds and this system is sitting right now at 50. It is moving due west at 15 miles per hour, so still moving at a pretty decent clip. Now its interaction with Jamaica might bring those sustained winds down ever so slightly, but it's actually expected to strengthen. I mentioned we could see our second hurricane of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season happen very shortly and it would be grace if grace does become and it is projected to become a category one hurricane as early as very tomorrow, very early tomorrow morning with uh, sustained winds at about 75 miles per hour. It's going to move over the Yucatan Peninsula, could br briefly uh, kind of deteriorate there, but will kind of re-strengthen as it enters the southern Gulf of Mexico. Those waters very warm this time of the year. Tropical systems really only need a baseline temperature of about 80 degrees to kind of fire up some of that activity once again. There's always other factors we look at when it comes to strengthening tropical storms here, but that's just one of them and could make landfall to parts of Mexico as a category one hurricane as early as very early Saturday morning, then becoming a remnant low there. So this one poses no threats to the US, just something we're going to continue to watch because that would be once again, potentially the second hurricane of this 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. A little bit closer to the East Coast, this one here, this is Tropical Storm Henri. This will maintain its tropical storm strength almost all of its lifespan here throughout the national Hurricane Center's latest advisory that dropped at 11 a.m. too with this one, but it's just going to be a fish storm kind of just circling around parts of Bermuda. Bermuda seeing some unsettled weather. Now effects to parts of the East Coast are just going to be rougher surf as well as the chance for some increased riptide threat. If you're heading to the beaches, that's going to be something you're going to need to watch, watch for, but that's the biggest threat when it comes to Tropical Storm Henri. It's kind of just doing some spins here around Bermuda before then finishing its way a little bit farther to the north and east. We'll keep our eye on this all the way through this upcoming weekend, but then it will honestly be projected a little bit farther to the north and east and start to deteriorate as it kind of goes into some of those cooler waters. As I mentioned time and time again with these video updates we do for you here on the tropics, you can always follow me on any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, even Twitter, and shoot your questions my way. If you have any extra questions about what I just highlighted throughout this video, you can also always subscribe to this very YouTube page too, and you can catch our latest updates on air and online at 13newsnow.com.